Are you recording this? Yep. No. <laughs> there we go. We've got the keys. Hi there, welcome back to another NYC Friday. Um, this week it is part three of our Taskmaster challenges. Um, so Johnny, Ruth and Sarah, all level pegging at the moment. But let's see what happens in today's task. Uh, so yeah, let's just crack straight in. Escape from the handcuffs. The fastest time wins. Your time starts now. So there you go. All they had to do was escape the handcuffs. The key was hidden somewhere in the room. Um, so yeah, let's see how they got on. Andy, where's the key? The key is somewhere in this room. Is it in the bread? Is it inside the bread? Is the bread a red herring? And baked it into the rolls or something weird. Um. Okay, so am I looking for a key? Is there a key hidden in the bread roll? Is there any other clues? <laughs> okay, keys aren't in the balloons. Is it inside the box of maracas? You know those moments where you feel really stupid? This is one of them. Is it really in the bread? I'm gonna eat the bread. Do you know, I'd have been really good at this if I could actually use the key quicker, wouldn't I? They're not like sneaky ones that have a little catch and and you can just escape. I mean, if they are, I'm just being... I mean, there's a little lever thing, but I don't think it does anything. Ah! <laughs> Andy, what have you done with keys? <laughs> They're really obvious, aren't they? You put them somewhere really obvious. Once, though. Yes. I mean, I've been so many places, that's not helpful. Ta -da! It needs to be the same key. Yes! <laughs> Why are the bread rolls here? <laughs> it's not. Is it in there? How have you managed to... It is in a bread roll! <laughs> Why did you put a key in a bread roll? <laughs> you hid that very well. I'm out. <laughs> Right, so there you go. Johnny was the quickest, Sarah again in the middle. Ruth, unfortunately, took a lot longer than everyone else. So at the moment, Johnny is back in the lead. Um, Sarah is second and Ruth is there in last, but there is still one more challenge to go. Um, but the key offers them an escape from the handcuffs. And actually, if you've got God in your life or if you begin to know Jesus, what you realize, what you have is that Jesus offers you an escape from the stuff you do in your life, the bad stuff that goes on and things like this. And uh, as a Christian, I believe that God came to give us an escape from the sin that we do, the bad stuff that separates us from God. So this week, I want to challenge you to go and find out about 
what that means. What does it mean for Jesus to offer us a key out of what we've been doing, all the bad stuff that separates us from God? So there you go. I'll leave that with you. Um, hope you enjoyed it. And uh, yeah, I'll do all those things like like, subscribe and comment below. But other than that, we will see you next week.